Hello everybody, my name is Jadash, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the cot count of every event form Pokemon there has been ever since their release. So, um, Walrus has released uh, text files for the release for the cot count of every Pokemon on, on each server, Silver and uh, Gold. I'm mainly going to be looking at Silver since that is the one that has like the main population and where the main market of the game is situated. So we're also we're still going to be looking at Gold, but we're mainly going to be focusing on Silver. So let's get right to it. Alright, so we're beginning with Bulbasaur, so I believe this is going to be ordered by Dex ID, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so first first up we have Clone Bulbasaur, which has 2,647. Wow, you can't get these clones unless you go to the Dark Realm, so that means that people have gone 2,647 times, which is a very huge number. Wow. Uh, Howling Bulbasaur, 1,244. That is a huge number. That is a huge number, so... Howling Bulbasaur prices should not be high as they are right now. You should, if, if there's a huge population of something, you should know that um, the prices should be lower. Clone Ivysaur. Okay, so it's a continuation of the clones. Uh, let's check all of them out. Clone 2,647, 128, and then 882. Wow. So there's actually a ton. There's more than 2,000, of course, as they are with the, with the evolutions. So I believe the total is around, what, 4,000? Almost 4,000, nearing 4,000. Wow. Okay, that's that's a really huge number indeed. Okay, and then Harrowing Venusaur, there's 788. Uh, wow, I'm, I'm so flabbergasted by these numbers. 1,244 and 68 and 700, that's almost 2,100. Oh, yeah, almost 2,100. Wow. And, and still, and we still have to pay at least, at least a minimum of two million for a good one, which is a, which is insane, guys. So clone Charmander, three thousand nine hundred ninety-four. Of course, this is going to be much, much higher than Bulbasaur because Charmander is a, a high, a much more fan favorite uh, than the other, the other starters. Charmeleon, six hundred sixty-two. Now this is Halloween. Okay, the clone is three thousand nine hundred, and then two hundred, and then clone Charizard, one thousand six hundred. Wow, a huge. No this is a really huge number. Howling Charmander's is only 600 uh, compared to Bulbasaur. Wow, I did not expect this. Howling uh, Charmeleon 31, and where's Howling Charizard 500? So there are 500 Halloween Charizards on the server. Okay. Clone Squirtle, Halloween Squirtle 400. Summer Squirtle is 89 only? What? Halloween for total 24, and then Summer War total. No, wait. Oh, this is the summer. Okay. So 89, 63, and 48. So the numbers are actually very low. So why? I have no idea why this Pokemon is. is, is it's very low in price. The prices for this Pokemon have went so down, so much down. For some reason, I have no idea. I have no idea why. Since this is not as populated as Halloween Charmander as it, or as Halloween Bulbasaur, why is its price? Why is its price so low? I have no idea. For Summer Rattata, 1,940. Only 2,000. Only 2,000 Summer Rattata. For the tier one that everybody has been catching and complaining about catching a ton of it. Only 1,940. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check the rest of the summer forms as well. Summer Eradicate 550, so a total of like 2,500, not not more, because this is not 2,000. Uh, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna check the rest of the summer forms to see how much have been caught, and I believe the number of uh, people on servers was still high back then. Halloween Ekans 246, 246 caught so far. Damn, that's a huge. And Halloween Arbok 285 already. Okay, I and I was and I thought I was having trouble encountering the Ekans. If you guys didn't know, it took me 15 hours of continuous hunting in order to get my first Halloween Ekans, which is insane, insane, to get a tier 1, a common. And, and and then with this number given to me, I don't know how to react. 246 in how long, how much have they been out since the 25th of October, I believe? So it's like six six days? Six days, including today, including the day that I'm recording this video. So wow, in six days, if, if around 600 were found, that is a huge number. Halloween Pikachu to 20... What? 25,000 Halloween Pikachus? 25,000? What? 25,000 Halloween Pikachus. Uh, when was this released? 2019? I think Pikachu was released in 2019. Maybe a little bit earlier? I'm gonna have to check that. Okay, so these are the... We, uh, World Quest Pikachu forms. Of course, they still need to get populated a little bit more. We only had like I think two or maybe three Pikachu World Quests. I wonder when we're gonna see it again. Maybe, maybe, maybe around Christmas, since that's that, since that's around the time when we first uh, started getting them. Christmas Century 14th, only 14,000 Christmas Centuries and 25,000 Halloween Pikachus. What? How? How? This is a tier one. 
how older how older is this than this even if it is like a one year gap this this is still a huge difference ten almost ten thousand eleven thousand color count wow halloween dig oh the suslets okay so two around 200 of every color okay this is this is a good number but hold on 200 of every diglet is okay if you so if you combine those that's a, the total number of diglets found which is okay so Ekans is all uh, compared to this Ekans is only 246 so it's basically the same count as one halloween diglet Okay, so even if even when I was thinking that Halloween that Halloween Ekans was easy to find, it it turns out to be much much harder, because compared to this, I mean, two hundred times twelve is what two thousand and four hundred. So there was two thousand four hundred diglets, and not even counting the duck trios, and there's only around two hundred forty six of, of of Ekans. So probably yes, probably Ekans is indeed a little bit harder to find than Diglet probably. Anyways, Christmas Psyduck, five thousand. Only five thousand? I would have, I would have actually expected this to be a little bit higher. Hmm. Okay, so Christmas Sidex should actually maintain their price a little bit because they're usable for bosses. So I guess yeah, if you get, if you have a decent or even a semi-epic Christmas Sidex, guys, this is your chance to sell yours because these are gonna be, these are gonna get really populated uh, when Christmas hits. Pink Gold Duck, Christmas Gold Duck, Pink Panky, Halloween Growlithe, three thousand five hundred exactly, and Halloween Arcanine, three hundred sixty-two. So in the two years since its since its inception, three thousand eight hundred. Okay, that is a clean number for 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 tier four. That is a good number. That is a really good number. So I'm happy to see this because Halloween Growlithe is one of my favorite event forms. So seeing it have a huge healthy number, huge population, is good. So that it can maintain a low price and uh, not like um, you know find any outliers with like real really high prices. Halloween Ponyta five thousand and Halloween Rapidash around a thousand. Okay, so there's six thousand of Ponyta and there's only three thousand five hundred of Growlithe. Okay, hmm. Okay, even though they are both the same tier, I believe this one is older, so the other one is supposed to be like uh, with a good a good price. Christmas Farfetch 2200, Summer Farfetch'd only one. Okay, so this is what we were looking for, guys. This is it. See, Summer Farfetch'd is a new one. It, it was only introduced this year. And there's only 133 of them, and this is supposed to be an uncommon, so it should be between tier 4 to 5, right? Uh, or 4 to 6. I think it's supposed to be like a tier 4 or 5. Only 133. This is a clear indication that summer event forms were really, really tough to find this year, especially this year, because I remember clearly that I hunted the same two weeks that I hunted for Halloween. For sorry, for summer uh, Squirtle, the year before the last, um, where, where the year where it, uh, the year where it got introduced, I hunted two weeks and I was able to get like two boxes of summer Wingle. This year, when I hunted the same two weeks, I barely got six. Barely got six how, uh, summer wingles. So I am sure, 100%, that this year they increased the rates, or decreased the rates of finding a summer Pokemon. So this should tell you that summer Pokemon should be one of the um, priciest, one of the more expensive ones, other than Halloween. So why are we still charging millions and millions for Halloweens? I have no idea. I'm actually now, I'm now very interested to see how many Halloween Larvestas there is. Halloween Ghastly, 27, to almost 27,000. Halloween Hunter, 6,000. Oh my god. Oh my god, these, th there's so much of these things. <laughs> no wonder some of the, a ton of them, tons of them must have been already con um, converted to PvE coins. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if they like, uh, deduce the number of the ones that have been converted or if this is just a total, like a total count of the ones that have been caught, not uh, counting if any of them were deleted, uh, removed, or accounts that had them got banned. I'm not sure if they did use that number. Maybe it's just a total number, like um, a net number, you know? Pink Star U, only 33 Star U's? And Pink Star U, 14? Oh my god, that, that is a very low number. And look at the Christmas, 109 and 46. Those are very low numbers. Man, okay, so we should we should try to repopulate these so that their prices don't go real haywire. Pink Scyther, okay, Pink Scyther 32, and Summer Scyther were only 108. Only 108 Summer Scythers? Wait, how many would have been evolved to, to Scizor? Wow, if the number of Scizors is not around 200, then th this thing this thing is going to maintain its price as one of the priciest event forms because Summer is, like I told you, is going to be... is indeed shaping up to be what the hardest... It, the hardest, yeah, the hardest event form to find. Pink Lapras 12? Only 12 Pink Lapras? Oh my god, and I, I was bidding on a, on a on an epic one, I think it was a few weeks ago. 
Oh my god. Uh, 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 okay, so there's only 12 and the one that I was bidding on was an epic. That means that it, it's much, much worth... It's worth, it's worth much higher than I was bidding it on. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't even realize, I don't know how much it ended up for, but it should be a decent account by now. Valentine Lapras, only 57. This is very rare as well. I have no idea if people are not hunting Lapras or if it's really bad, really hard to find. I remember the, um, um, the map where you could find Valentine Lapras was not that bad. It was actually decent, but I think it was overshadowed by, by, by Valentine, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Vulpix? Uh, yeah, Al Alolan Vulpix. Al Valentine Alolan Vulpix. I think it's overshadowed by that one because people like that one the most. And I don't blame them. I myself love it so much. It's also one of my top favorite ones, the uh, Valentine Alolan uh, Vulpix and uh, Ninetales. Christmas Eve, the only 103. We'll see how many of them evolve. So we have, we can see Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flaring Heart since, since their dex IDs are so close to Eevee. There's only been 10 Halloween Eevees after this uh, note was made. So I'm sure there's a, there's a ton more. So don't take this number as at face value. There is th since this is fairly new, this means that just the population is increasing day by day. And since it's still new, that means a lot of people are going to be hunting it. So don't don't get surprised if this number has already been doubled by now. So like I said, do not take these numbers at face value and just take them into consideration when trying to like calculate the prices or if you're buying or trying to sell something. Uh, Christmas Dratini only 116, Christmas Dragonite 35, and Christmas Dragonite 183. This is also a low number, so this is also an indication of how Christmas event forms are really, really hard to find. One pink Chikorita? What? Only one pink Chikorita? What about pink? There's no pink bay leaf. There's there's a pink Meganium. One and two, there's only three total? Of these? Damn, the prices of this is going to go up so high, damn. Halloween Meganium, okay, Halloween Cyndaquil, only 54 Halloween Cyndaquils. 3 Quilavas and 27 Typhlosions. This also needs to get repopulated very fast, very fast guys. Or this is, the prices of Cyndaquil is going to be very ridiculous. Only 12 pink Totodiles, only 1 pink Crocona, and 9 pink for alligators. Ooh, of which one I have. Wow, nice. So there's only nice, 9, 9 and 1, 10, 10. So there's a total of only 22. 22 pink Totodile and its family. Well, okay, 114 Halloween, 1 Halloween Crocona, and 48. Okay, the Halloween is decent. It's not too low. If there's less than 150 on, on, an, um, on one of the servers, that means that the price is like range mid-range that means that the price might go up it might go down according to how much people actually want them so do do stay on the lookout for the for the halloween total of prices easter togepies oh yeah the colors okay 80 70 okay so uh, around an average of 70 around an average in 70 halloween togepi 186 and togetix 20 around an average of 25 Ooh, decent numbers we're have to we're gonna have to see how many togekiss there are Pink Zatu, okay, Natu, Christmas Marip, uh, and Frost, Pink Meryl, Pink Meryl, okay, 2, Christmas, where's Pink Azumarill? 36, okay, 2 and 36, and Azuro. We don't, we, we're not gonna see Azumarill, really but this number is very low, guys, 2 plus 36. Mm, Christmas, Az Christmas Azuro, 165, Easter Azumarill, 304, Christmas Espeon, 6, Christmas Umbreon, 31. Okay, Umbreon and Espeon are a continuation of the Christmas EV. They're, these still need to get repopulated so, so fast, or the prices are going to go out of control. Howling Glagger, 54, is only 54, and the price of this thing is barely keeping up at 1 million, 1.5 million by now. I have no idea why this is also plummeting in price, even though the number is not that crazy, it's only 50 of them. Pink Caesar, okay, and a Summer Caesar, Summer Caesar is only a 90. So there is basically a total of around 190, almost, almost 200, only 200 Summer Scythers and Caesars. So that explains why their prices are really, really high. These are going to maintain their prices until next year, guys. So if you're looking to get one, try to get one as fast as you can before time runs out and everybody who wants to buy one has already bought one and their prices is going to skyrocket. Halloween Sneasel. This is one that also I've been looking at. Halloween Sneasel, there are 762 of this damn thing and the prices for this thing shot up this year insanely. I have no idea why the prices for Halloween Sneasel went crazy this year. I think it's because of the surge of the new players. But still, the numbers are very, very crazy, man. Pink Smeargle 21, Christmas Smeargle 56, and Halloween Smeargle 33. Okay, so the number of Halloween Smeargles is now catching up to the Christmas one. 
Uh, I believe if the number of these ends ends up the same as this one by the end of the event, if you guys didn't know also, the Halloween event is going to end in 12 days. It's going to end on the 13th of November. So if you want to hunt your Halloween spirit goals, make sure that you do now. Because if the prices, if they stopped at 56, the prices are going to be so high for Smeargle um, until next year. Christmas Rolls, 58 only. Pink Rolls, only 12. Oh boy, okay. What about Pink Curlia? There's no Pink Curlia? No Pink Curlia. Okay, so Pink Gardevoir and Pink Rolls only. So there's a oh, 26 pinks. Oh man, oh man. These need to get populated as well. They need to make more events where we can catch pink Pokemon outside of Finken. In order for them to populate, like, at least quickly for now, and then they could not make them anymore, not rerun them anymore. Christmas Curlia, Halloween Curlia, 34, Valentine Curlia, 7. Wow, Halloween Gardevoir, 200, Valentine Gardevoir, 24, uh, Valentine... Oh, okay, all of these are Valentine Gardevoirs. Okay, there's a ton of them, so yeah, this was, like, very, very close to being a common, since it was very easy to get them, since you can replay the chess minigame lots of times. That's why their prices are supposed to be very low. Halloween Torkoal, 1,400? Um, I thought they would have been, they would have been um, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. For tier 4, that has been around for almost, what, three years now? Yeah, I think it would have been much, much more. I mean, you can, you can try to think how much of the 1,440 are actually drought. So, probably half, if not less than half, then these are drought. So, if you find a drought Torkoal from now on, don't, don't get surprised if people start charging higher for them, because this number is very low. Halloween Absol- Oh, no, what? Only 106 Halloween Absols? All the 106? Oh boy, if, if I could just see how many of those got caught this year compared to last year, because last year it was an MS exclusive, and uh, no one was liking the idea of hunting Pokemon that were uh, Medallion exclusive, because you wouldn't just pop a Medallion in order to hunt a Pokemon. It, it just feels kind of weird. So I, I would give anything to know how many of these 106 were actually caught this year. Easter Turtwig, only three, and Easter Torterra, only two. So there's a total of only five. A total of only five of these on, on this server. How many? I'm actually, I need to know this. I need to know on both servers. Turtwig, there's five here. Five Turtwig. Okay, and there are no Torterra. So there's five here, five on gold, and five on silver. Oh, boy. This compared to, what, 2000 ugh, Halloween Bulbasaurs? Damn. Damn, <laughs> I was telling you, I was telling you, these are really, really hard to hunt. East Chimchar and East Finfernip, only 27 on both, only 27 on this server. Not sure how much are on both servers, though. So, still, 27 is a very, very, very low number. So, if you want to get one, you better get one fast. Halloween Gibble, only 112. Summer Gibble, only 127. Halloween Gabite 4, Summer Gabite 4, 3, Halloween Garchomp 112, and Summer Garchomp 115. The numbers are still also uh, kind of mediocre. It's not bad, but kind of mediocre as well for rare. So once these like populate again next year, you should you should start expecting that their prices are not going to exceed the two million. Not even gonna get the two million mark uh, for like uh, just normal ones, not epic or semi-epic ones. Easter Togekiss. Okay, so these are the Togekiss around 50. Okay, 50, and the others were around 25 and 30. Eh, it's not a bad number. How many Togekiss? Nice. Very nice. Christmas Leaf on 22, Glaceon 14, okay, Gliscor 15, Christmas Gallade 31, only only three pink Gallades. Only three pink Gallades. Halloween Gallades only 93. Very low numbers, very low numbers. These need to get populated so fast. Valentine Gallades, there's not much of them actually. One, 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 around one or two of every form. Okay, of every like uh, shape with, with with every different kind of Pokeball. Three Christmas Arceus. I would love to see one of those in game. So if you're watching this or if you know someone who has one and you're watching this video, please tell them to flex this more often in, in all chat. I'd love to see that. Christmas caught me only six. Pink Whimsicott 13. How many Christmas Whimsicotts? 11. So there's a total of 17. These also need to get populated. Please, pro, if you're if anyone of the staff, if anyone responsible is watching this or gets a note of this, please. Giving an event form an MS exclusive spot to be hunted is not a good idea. It is not a good idea for the market. It's not a good idea for the people who spend their time hunting. It's very... Like, I do not agree. I do not condone the idea of having to pay or having to have a membership in order to be able to hunt a Pokemon. Even though they are catchable in any in other areas, but some of the Pokemon have really bad areas outside of the event islands. So that basically beats the point. Christmas Deerling only 20 and only two Christmas Sawsbuck? 
Okay, I have one. I have one. So who who has the other one? Who has the other Christmas songs book? I want to know this. I want to know who has the other Christmas songs book. Axu. Okay, this is this is interesting. So this Pokemon has been. It should have been overhunted by now. That this just shows how rare this is. That even though people are hunting it like crazy, they're not able to find it. This just shows how rare Christmas event forms are. So be on the lookout for these. Easter larvas. Okay, we're around it. Uh, Halloween larvesta. So there's a hundred and eight Halloween larvestas. Why are these going for five million a pop? Why? There's over one hundred of these already, and they're supposed to be like crazy rare. There's over one hundred of these, and they're going for around five million a pop. Why? I have no idea. You should, you should, you should never pay that amount for a Pokemon that there's already 108 of them, and I'm sure there's even more by now. Easter of Corona 164 and Easter Larvesta. See, so the Easter one, there's there's around 300, more more than 300 of this. But for Halloween Larvesta 108 and 45 of Volcaronas already, this should not be five million. This should should this should go down. This should go down so much. Christmas Rishiram, Ramsey Krum. Halloween uh, Pavilion. Okay, so this is the uncommon of the new events, and we already have 187. And if you remember, guys, Summer Farfetch, there was only 133. And there's already 187 of Halloween Pavilion, and we're not even... There's still, like, 12 days. There's still 12 days of hunting, and this is an uncommon. This just tells you how summer event forms were really, really hard to get. Pink Pan Cham only 20, Pink Pan Girl only 22, Christmas Sylveon 12, okay, Pink Halucha, Halloween Halucha already 73 of them, Christmas the Dene, Christmas Gumi only 6, and Gudra 6. Then the prices of these are also going to be very high, so again, if you're looking to buy one, if you find one that is cheap, do buy it. If not, just wait for Christmas, Easter Niancy, Easter Niancy, Niancy, Summer of Alcarona, Kamala, Halloween Mimikyu already ate, and as, as I told you, this is still new, so this should be more. Here we go, Valentine, Alolan Vulpix, and Alolan Ninetales. There's almost 200, almost 200, 175 total of these. And their prices are still high, so that that is why these are these are one of the best event forms in my opinion. So you should not be surprised about the price point of this of this Pokemon. It is one of the best, and if you try to buy this for a high number, it is it is very um, eligible for you to do that because I, I see that the numbers, even though this thing has been overhunted, the, uh, basically the only hunted thing during Valentine. And still has this such of a low number, so yeah, you're gonna be justified in paying a lot. Star Wars Marowak Alolan. Only 21 have been able to be found when it was uh, huntable during the summer event. Hmm, interesting. Easter Sh Easter Shaman, Christmas Keldeo, Christmas... Okay, Christmas... Easter? Wait, why, why does this say Easter? Christmas Curum Black and Curum White is Easter? What? Aren't they both supposed to be Christmas? What is this? Why does this say Christmas and this say Easter? I remember, yeah, I remember that there was a discrepancy when, um, when you, when you show these, when you, like, link these in, in, in chat, this one looks, uh, like Christmas and this one looks like an Easter, but why is this being treated as an Easter? Wow, so, th okay, this is the end of it, and I have no idea what, I have no idea what this is. If, if somebody sees this and they try to tell them maybe that there's a problem here, there's a discrepancy, and they should be fixing it. Anyways, uh, this has been the, the count of all of the event forms that have been caught so far. If you want to see the sheet yourself, you can find it in the Pro Discord's announcement uh, channel. Make sure that you check it yourself if you want to read these numbers over by yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.